Hello everyone and welcome to the Faculty of Engineering and Design's live webinar. This is the second video outlining our design programs. My name is Hannah and I'm a recent grad of the Biomedical and Mechanical Engineering program and now I work for the Faculty of Engineering and Design's outreach team. Please feel free to chat with us using the chat feature. We have some great representatives answering questions throughout the presentation and for 15 minutes after. If you don't get a chance to have your questions answered, please feel free to email us at liaison at carlton.ca. And if you have any questions about admissions, you can contact admissions at carlton.ca as well. Let's get started. So as I said, we're gonna be talking about our design schools. We have three different design schools, the first being architecture. We also have industrial design and we have information technology. So first up, let's talk about the Bachelor of Architecture. Carleton's Bachelor of Architectural Studies focuses on knowledge, experience, creativity, and imagination. There are three different majors you can actually choose within the Bachelor of Architectural Studies. Those are the major in design, which focuses on the design of buildings. This major in design will appeal to those interested primarily in a professional career in architecture with an emphasis on design. There's also a major in urbanism, which focuses on urban design and sustainable development. The major in urbanism explores architecture in the larger context of the city by looking at how we design housing, landscaping, how our water moves through our neighborhoods, towns, and our cities. The third major for architectural studies is our major in conservation and sustainability, which focuses on the preservation and adaptive transformation of the ex existing building stock. So we're looking at heritage buildings. This major will appeal, appeal to students interested in the conservation of historical architecture and the principles of sustainable design of buildings. One important thing to notice for these three programs is we do require a portfolio so we can see your artist, artistic abilities and your design process. Our next program is the Bachelor of Industrial Design. Industrial designers are responsible for the concept, design, and details of a product before the manufacturing process of that product can actually begin. So they work behind the scenes to, to determine the features, appearance, materials, and ergonomics of the many products from toasters to cell phones that we use every single day. This is another program that requires a portfolio to demonstrate your creativity and aptitude for the study of industrial design. Our last design school is information technology. This design school actually has four different programs, which I'll discuss next. An important thing to note for these four programs is they are all actually partnered with Algonquin College. So this essentially means that you'll be attending both Carleton and Algonquin. So you'll receive both a degree and a diploma in four years rather than six. So the first program is information resource management. This program provides students with a broad understanding of information management, as well as specific capabilities in managing digital resources, such as research data, websites, and social media. Such skills are especially important now that the library and IT field has moved beyond the traditional library setting to encompass a wide range of occupations in both the private and public sectors. Additionally, living in Ottawa, it's convenient to have your French language skills. So this program also integrates a French minor into your degree. Our next program is Interactive Multimedia and Design. This program is aimed at students who are both artistically inclined and technologically adept and who are interested in all aspects of digital media. You will acquire the tools you need to take an idea from a problem and advance it through the process from concept to pre-production, production, and post-production. The program provides you with a multidisciplinary education through courses in computer animation, visual effects, video game design and development, graphic design, and human-computer interaction. This program also requires a portfolio where we can see your artistic abilities, whether drawn or through the computer. Our next program is 
Network Technology. This program focuses on the design, management, operation, and installation of complex information networks, such as those that make up internet and cell phone networks. In this program, you will not only explore theories and concepts, but you will also learn about their practical application. You will learn to design, manage, secure, operate, install, and configure advanced IT networks using our state-of-the-art networking labs, which offer that hands-on training with real-world equipment. This program also has a partnership with Cisco, which students will be able to successfully write their Cisco cer certif certification, which is essential and very in demand for those high demand job markets. Our last program through the School of Information Technology is Optical Systems and Sensors. This program is designed to provide you with a strong IT foundation and a specialization in optics and photonics. This program combines computer programming, automation, signal and imaging processing courses with fundamentals in physics, math, business, arts, and social sciences. While also acquiring a strong IT background, students will learn about optical communication networks, lasers, manufacturing, and advanced optical component design through our specialized hands-on labs. Some upper year courses included in this program are quantum optics, biomedical photonics, and Fournier optics. So we've discussed the programs. Now let's talk a little bit about our labs and facilities. So typically for every three hours of class, you'll have around three hours of lab work in order to gain that hands-on practical experience. This could include working in our maker space with our laser cutter, working in a metal shop to make designs, working in our wood shop or studio for architecture students, and our motion capture lab, and there are many other different areas you can work on. Additionally, industrial design and architecture students can actually book personal time with our laboratory technicians in any of our three labs, whether it's our metal shop, wood shop, or our soft lab. So now let's discuss a bit about our support services. There's a couple listed here. You might have already heard about some of them in our engineering presentation if you tuned in then or through our other presentations through our See You At Home uh, webinar. I'm gonna specifically talk about our PASS sessions and our LC McGill Learning Center. So PASS stands for Peer Assisted Study Sessions. Es essentially, this is a workshop hosted by an upper year student who succeeded in the class. And he, he or she will actually host workshops twice a week where you can go over the material you learned in class, make sure you have a great understanding of the concepts, and actually write mock midterms and finals to make sure you can truly succeed in the course. We also have the Elsie McGill Learning Center, which is a center specifically for first year engineering and design students. The center is open every day and through at specific times you can actually meet with scholars in engineering, science, math, or English and they can actually go over your homework with you or any questions you have about your course to make sure you have a solid understanding of what you're learning in class. Next up, we're going to talk about co-op. So what is co-op? You guys have probably heard a little bit about it in high school because high school offer also offer co-ops. Essentially, it's a work placement at a company, organization, or government agency where you can get hands-on work experience in your field. It's available for all of the design programs. Um, it's available in all the design programs. There's placements in the private and public sector. You can work in a wide variety of cities. It'll help finance your education and you can gain practical experience and find your fit. So all of the design schools and programs I spoke about do offer co-op. The only difference between the co-op placements is the actual amount of time you have to put in for co-op. So there's different measurements for architecture. Industrial design actually requires a 12 week internship unless you choose to do your co-op placement. And information technology requires three co-op work terms, but you can actually take up to five work terms. On the bottom of that slide are just some of our featured employees that where our students have actually worked. 
from Adobe to Google to Shopify. There are lots of different uh, options for you in co-op through our design schools. Next up, we're just going to talk about transitioning to post-secondary. So it is a big transition. University is different from high school, but the best thing you can do is actually get involved with your community. There are many ways to do that through design schools, through different societies on at Carleton, and in our first week of school, all of Carleton's clubs and societies actually meet in one location so you can walk around and learn about them and decide which group you'd like to volunteer with. So just to talk quickly and specifically about our architecture community and services. So right now, for those of you in grade 10 and 12, you can actually sign up to do our Imagine Architecture program. This is an online program taught by instructors from Carleton's architecture program for grades 10 to 12 students who are interested in gaining experience in that creative design field. We also have the directed study abroad, which is a trip during winter break with faculty members and students. You travel to different cities around the world to engage in new urban settings and visit the offices of internally renowned architects. And finally, we have our Architectural Society. So the Israeli Architectural Student Society provides various social events and academic workshops throughout the year. These include the Upper Year Mentorship Program, the AASA Store, um, Design Luncheons, Co-op Information Panels, Spirit Week, and Random Acts of Food Kindness. We also have specific services for industrial design. As I said earlier, you can book your time with lab technicians. You also have an undergraduate advisor, which is an appointment-based meeting to help you with course planning and course selection. Through industrial design, you can also do our exchange program where you study abroad with one of our partner universities. It is important to note that it is a competition selection process, which requires a minimum GPA and a recommendation from school. And then like, like architecture, we have our student society, which organizes social and academic events to develop fellowship among industrial design students and faculty. Finally, we have our community and services for information technology. So you'll have your undergrad program advisor, which provides academic assistance that relates to course selection, registration issues and choices of electives. And what's special about information technology is you actually get amenities from both Algonquin and Carleton University. So being a student at both institutions, you're able to get the resources and, amen and amenities found at both schools. This includes, but is not limited to, program coordinators, library services, student associations, and athletics. And then we also have our student society, which is for all four information technology programs that hosts game nights, meet and greets with industry and study sessions. Finally, let's talk a bit about our Carleton University campus. So Carleton, as you can tell by this bird's eye view, is a very beautiful campus. We're bordered by the <clears throat> Rideau Canal and the Ottawa River. We're only a 20 minute bus ride away from airport, bus station and trace train station, and we're a 15 minute drive away from downtown Byward Market. Uh, it's a beautiful city. There's tons of things you can do, especially tons of things that you can do that are free. For example, every Thursday you can go to a museum around Ottawa and it will be free, whether it's the Nature Museum, Science and Tech Museum, War or the Civilization Museum. In the winter time, you can also skate on the Rideau Canal. And one thing that is not pictured on here that we at Carleton actually love is our underground tunnel system. It is heated and available all the time. You can walk from one building to any other building wearing shorts and flip flops if you really wanted to in the middle of January. <clears throat> so it is a very beautiful campus and it was a big reason why I personally chose Carleton as well. So here are some ways you can stay connected with us. Make sure to check us out on Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date with the latest news and connect with us virtually. We are also currently offering live chats with our recruitment officers done on an appointment basis. 
Information on this can actually be found on our website. Thank you for joining us today. We are still online for the next couple of minutes to answer your questions in our live Q&A.